Hi everyone, welcome to Cool Videos channel. In this video, we will create the to do list in React.js. Uh, I will use uh, just the concept of uh, implementing to do list. I will not design it, just to learn the concepts of create operation, update, delete, rate, and um, other four operation we have. So, we will use these four operation in our to do list. So, let's start, guys. First of all, I will put the React. We'll create a list first of all. It is an array of objects with me. For example, ID one here. But I know it is false. I didn't perform it. So now I will just display it, this list of objects. I will use the map function to loop through the list. So here I will use my map function, list.map, and it will take another function, callback function. So I will create that, that takes a parameter, that will be for example L with me, it is an arrow function. Here, what should I do now? Just create the list and display the name of the list. We will display that in curly braces. That is a dynamic value with us. The name and has also we should pass the key here. This key should be unique. Yeah, enter ID. So now I will export this. So I have imported here in index page. So now I will run the server. Yeah, see we have these two elements now here. So now we have displayed our um, list. So now we would like first of all to add another um, list to this how to do this so let's create that so i will create another component so react the, the benefit of react is that it is a component base so i will create another component for add to do list okay i will come here just i will create another component let's just import it here under the list yeah, yeah. let's see now okay we have this input field and also a button so now whenever we enter uh, a list a task so after submitting it should be add to this here yeah let's do it so here we have an event on submit Whenever we press the submit, it should call a function. So I will create a function now. And then for example, submit. Okay. I will create this function. So now I will call that function. Using our function. And I will submit. And also here it will get an event. So here to receive the value of this input field, I will assign a name here. Name is equal to like task with us, okay? So to receive this value, the value of input field, so we should use like the last name is equal to 
So we will create a new new list is equal to it will be a new object with us id will be for example three and also the name is equal to i should change it to the text name is equal to text and also then is equal to fast so now i will add this new list to our to our previous list okay now to change this the state the state of this list so we should use this use state hook okay let's first of all import the use state hook use state okay now here i will use react to use state okay and also here we should use this array for example it is the name of this list and also it is the zip list the function that we will call we will update this list so now here we will use this sit uh, list function to update our list okay so to do that first of all we should uh, um, as uh, we should pass this sit list to our add to do list component okay to pass that let's come here we will do that here sit list for example is equal to sit list i have passed that to our to do list component so now i will save that here sit list okay so now to um, update this our list and also we will pass our list to this component here and also receive this i will receive these two parameters so now i will use them here here i will use set list function okay it has a callback function so here try new list and now i will return the new list okay three list that can get the new list actually we don't need to this list right now and also one thing else that we should do it first of all we make call this function so what we should do that prevent default yeah this prevent the default actions whenever we call this function it prevent the default actions so now let's see it what happened. Yeah, I will add a task. Wait, okay, submit the pattern. Yeah, let's uh, just call this and then submit. See, it has added to our list. So now the problem is that whenever we submit, so we should clean our input field, okay? So for example, I am entering another task, so I should clean it manually. So whenever I click the submit, this list should be clean, okay? So now let's do it. Yeah, for that concept to clean the input field, so we will use the use rip hook, okay? What the use rip hook do? It just take the control of the element that we want, take the properties of it. We will see that now, okay? First of all, I will import it, use rip use rip okay and also we will just create it here const input to update is equal to react.use rip and the default value will be null for example okay so now let's just assign it to our input field it here rip is equal to with us input rip okay we have just assigned it here so now we have the properties of this input field in our array in this variable okay so now let's clear the input field mm, clear the uh, value of our input field so yeah, what we will just write in, after submitting the after the linguistic update so input rape that current that value 
is equal to none okay just simply this it will after updating the state it will clear the input field yeah let's see it i will add another read yeah see we have added and the input field has become clear so it was all about adding a list so now we will just come to update the list for example whenever this task is done so it should be marked as done with us here to update i will just add the style to this list whenever for example we click on this list so this should be done as marked like here will be a line on the top of this uh, uh, list okay so now let's first of all i will style it I will uh, write here text decoration here text decoration here I will use the ternary operator for example okay if uh, the done this property was true it will uh, style this list if it was false it will not style so to do it let's write here I will write uh, uh, l dot done if l dot done was okay so then assign line throw okay it will style the line otherwise assign null nothing okay to text decoration so we have done it now we will just add the event of on click whenever we on click on this list for example on click so we should add a function here to use and call that function yeah i will add a function here handle update yeah to this function i will pass this id the id of this list on the list we click we will pass the id of that list so let's pass that I will pass uh, call the function. I will use whenever we are passing the um, property argument. We will use the arrow function handle update. Here I will pass l dot id. I will pass the id, the list id. Okay. So now I will just change that here. The id will be here whenever that passed. So now we will just do our operation. I will create a new list as equal to just I will map through this list. Okay less dot map and here i will call function l and also i will return here again i will use the ternary operator if the id was equal to equal to l dot id whenever these two id became same so what it should do it will use the ternary operator here i will just use the spread operator l it will spread operator will assign the previous element this list to the new list yeah, it will copy this list to the new list okay and also we will update the property done okay done will be changed to uh, true okay it will change to true or we can use uh, uh, not true so otherwise if uh, the these two id were not equal so what it should do it will return yeah it will return the list the previous list okay that list it will return that list so now we have uh, updated we have created a new list so now let's call our set list this functions to update our state to update our set i will just set list and i will pass new list to that so now let's see what happened yeah whenever i click on this okay yeah you see that has changed everyone you click so that will be changed the style of that has changed you can change the name of this too okay like let, let's change the name of it okay just come here I will change the name to for example uh, the one I click new I will assign update it yeah let's click on it see that updated okay so it was all about the update now we will come to the uh, deletion how to delete um, an element from list so these are all the current operations so now just come to the uh, deletion yeah for the deletion I will create another component yeah here i will create another component by the name of delete list okay here what should i do uh, so now i will just first of all uh, write here um a next sign okay whenever we remove sign whenever we click on that so this should be removed to do that i will just use the span property okay so here i will write this okay just i will I call this delete list where I should call this I will call it in the list beside the name okay first what should I do I will enter it and here I will call in that name after this I will call the delete list okay delete 
with list let's see that okay you saw that we have this we have this excel so now let's change it style it for example i will assign the red color to this style color red and also margin left will be 10 pixel and also it will be smaller yeah we have styled it so now whenever we click on this so the deletion should occur okay let's apply the on event on click event and this on click so here we should call another function handle delete okay so let's create this one handle delete here what should i do so here a pop-up menu will uh, appear to the um, uh, he, if he would like to delete so he should click the ok otherwise he should click the cancel ok now what to do for that cancel confirm is equal to window dot confirm i will pass the message head what do you like to delete if you click, click ok so it will be deleted now we should apply our code if confirm if a true con confirm if a true assigned to confirm so this it will execute ok if confirm if it was true so what it should do now it should uh, update our state and delete the, uh, that one on which we click so how to sure how to be sure to delete that one so we should pass here to the delete one yeah where is the delete yeah delete here we should pass this list on which we click and also the state also this uh, state we have okay this state state function this state function and also the list we click on that these two properties should be passed like list is equal to l and uh, set list is equal to set list these two i have passed to the delete uh, component come here now i will access them list and set list i have access these two now i should apply the code yeah, I will call sit list this function in the callback function preview list and also here I should have return previous list dot filter I will use the first filter function on it filter what it fil the filter do the filter will filter all the lists just not the one we will pass that now l dot id was not equal to equal to less dot id so now we will run it let's appreciate so if i click it okay so it didn't delete it yeah let's see what happened so i think the code yeah the update event has applied on it yeah so now here uh, we have uh, two um, events at the, in one element in list we have two events both of them will call at the same time so update has happened but not the generator so when i remove the spend tag this delete when i remove this from list then we will see what happened it is in error so i will just drop it in a div So now let's see it what happened. So yeah, the design has become so we will, we will use just a class here. Bootstrap class, I think I have bootstrap. No, not, it's not working. Okay, the design, we will not do the design. So now I will just try it, okay. Yes, yeah, that has deleted, okay. If I try this one and I select cancel, so nothing will happen. So when we click this and click OK, so it will delete also. So it was all about deletion of the the CRUD operation, read, update, delete, and create in React.js. So if you have liked the video, please subscribe our channel. And thanks for watching.